So we also have these cards, but I don't like, I don't trust these to be honest. Cause like, I won't show anyone where they're from right now. I don't want to put anyone, any companies on blast or anything. But like I also, I have these cartridges and they're full. They're literally full fucking cartridges. Ooh, this one's kind of feels like it might have leaked a little bit. Sticky. But this is why I don't trust it. You you see the liquid in there? Look how look how fast that air bubble moves. I never seen no weed do that before. Like have a bubble that moved that fast through it. So that's why. That's 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 why I don't trust it. But I have I have two of them. They sent me two, and it's it's like the same thing for both. I just feel like, and I feel like it used to be faster even like before. But like, look how fast that bubble moves around. Like I don't know. In my experience, like weed oil is very thick. So like, here's like a half card from a different company. <laughs> You see, you, you see what I'm saying, right? Like that shit's not moving at all. Yeah, what's going on? I'm Craig's Benedict. And today it's like our third video back from Ban, right? We have like a new little guy. I haven't really like formally introduced him, but his name is also Craig. Well, we've been calling him Craig. If you have a better name for him, let me know. We, we've we been calling him Craig, but spelled like K-R-E-G-G, -G, like, like Ker Egg. You know what I mean? Cause he, he's an egg. <laughs> kind of like to go along with, um, you know, well, that's not really where I was going with that sentence. You guys feel free to give us suggestions of what you think Craig, Craig's new name should be, because my name's Craig and his name's Craig. It's like, I don't want to call him Little Craig because that sounds like something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can't call him that. But if you've got another, another egg name that isn't Greg, fuck Greg's. <laughs> if you had a name that's not Greg, let us know in the comments what you think his name should be. And uh, we're gonna be using him to like censor things because that's what we have to do now because we're striking and uh, shit's unfortunate because maybe I just didn't understand the rules because like I see other YouTubers doing the same shit I was doing and everything's, everything's honky dory with them. But like we're gonna have to censor like a little bit more. But we also wanted to like kind of start up the second channel soon with like kind of like more non non weed related things, more just like kind of like me doing stuff kind of thing. And uh, Craig's Benedict Ivy Zerbs, amazing name. That could be that could be an option too. Still not sure if I want to go with scrambled Craig or fried Craig or make it plural because who only eats one egg? So it'd be it would have to be like scrambled Craig's or fried Craig's. Or Craig's Benedict, that, that's a pretty good one too. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down in the comments what, what my name should be. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about um, this this little smart range battery by the homies over at Helio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's H-E-L little I, oh. The, the I's the only lowercase one, Helio. Maybe that's that's how it sounds in my head. Um, but they're calling it like a, like a smart battery. Um, I don't really know what's much different about it than first just like a regular car battery, but I guess we gonna find out together. As we often do on this channel, we kind of figure things out together and um, we we'll see what see what that's see what this is all about. I have not taken a thumbnail for this video yet. Probably should do that while it's still in the box. Maybe that could be the thumbnail. One of these smart. That guy, we could do something like that. Either way, I hope this is in focus and not me. We're just gonna take a screen grab from somewhere in here. Anyway, let's open it up. It says it has some special features. It 
It has a voltage range of 1.2 to 4.2. It has a 1.8 volt preheat setting. Smart range battery by Helios Vi has the widest range of voltage settings on the market, allowing consumers to adjust the heat setting by 0.1 volts at a time. Turn the voltage way down to savor your favorite terpene profiles or crank it up for the biggest clouds you can muster. Compatible with all 510 cartridges and not for kids or pregnant ladies. That's what it says on the back. Is it really the widest range that they research that? Because I do know like a lot of cart batteries like I have usually go from somewhere around, I feel like two to four, maybe like one, like one six to four. And this is one, two to four, two. So I'm not sure how that range stacks up against other cart batteries. I probably should know that because I'm making a video about it right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt, say that they did their research and maybe no one else really goes up to 4.2 or down as low as 1.2 volts. So maybe maybe that's the thing. Anyway, we pull it out. I actually really like um, the size and kind of like triangle shape they got going on. It's got USB-C on the bottom, your 510 threads on the top. And the one thing I actually love about it is this. Uh, the front is clear. You can see all the insides. It gives me 90s vibes. Everyone my age had one of those clear telephones, I feel like or you had like one of the Nokia like cell phones back when they first came out and they had the clear fronts and backs that you could put on. They also had like a ton of other shit. I remember mine had like, I, oh my God, this is gonna sound so cringy in 2024, but you could get like light up batteries for them and light up uh, number things. And I remember I had a silver and blue, ew, Dallas, Dallas Cowboy colors. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that back then, but I had like a silver and blue. It was it was a silver base with like a like a blue dragon, like it, kind of, it was kind of like a clear blue dragon. And I had a light up battery and a light up keypad, and I thought I was the shit. <laughs> Danny, no, stay here. You have to stay here. You can't leave. I thought I was so cool, but but the clear front gives me like 90s vibes, and all around like the other sides is just kind of like this space kind of vibe. It's like black with like little, little stars all over it. I don't know if you can be able to see it very well. I'll take like a close up maybe and put it over here. But the good thing about doing a cart battery today is that I don't think we're gonna have to use the censorship much because I don't think YouTube cares about cartridges like that. And like I said, I've found this little half of things, so hopefully this um, preheat setting works really, really well. Cause we're gonna throw it on here and I'm pretty sure, cause I'm pretty sure this is clogged to hell, so we gonna find out. Looks like it may have a little screen on there. Oh, I forgot to go through what's in the rest of the box. Cause there is this little thing at the bottom. It's probably just like a charging cable though assuming they do have like this little box at the bottom a little accessory box at the bottom so let's see if we got a charging cable in there and that's it right we got our user manual in case you want to know how to use it it's a cartridge battery i feel like this is going to be very straightforward and we got the tiniest little cord for charging <laughs> it's so small. Oh my god. Also, never mind. <laughs> I thought I thought it said that this was um, a, like a threaded or like braided charger, but no, it's five five ten threaded. <laughs> Makes way more sense. Anyway, um, the the tiniest little USB C charger I've ever seen. This is so cute. Tiny tiny USB. Tiny cart battery. I do like this because I feel like very concealable. You know what I mean? Like it's small, it's a cartridge battery. Anyway, I'm not gonna read the instructions. I'm just gonna kind of figure it out myself. I'm assuming five clicks on and off, maybe less. Oh. Okay, it is five clicks on and off. I'm assuming two two clicks for a preheat. It comes. It has this little plus minus button on the front. No. Mm. Wait, hang on. Preheating two clicks. Yeah. Why you shake your head no to me? <laughs> I'm preheating it right now. It's already came set to 3.5. It has just like a little plus and minus thing right here. 
Once it's done preheating, the preheat's over. Uh, let's take a hit. Cheers. I'm also gonna turn the volume down a little bit because I feel like 3.5 would literally kill me. Let's try like 2.7. Mid, little mid-range jumper. Kobe, cheers. The chair made it sound like a fart. did. That wasn't a fart, that was just the chair, I promise. I'm gonna turn it up a little more because I feel like it's still a little clogged. They just run another preheat section. It's like, well, nah, can't do that. Okay. I do like it has a little puff counter on there. All right, fuck it. Should've just left it on three, five. Let's kill my lungs. <laughs> It tastes so good. It tastes so good. They did have like a little thing that was like, never burn your turps again. But if they go up to 4.2, like you're chucking clouds at 4.2. Let's burn, let's burn my coil <laughs> on 4.2. Actually wasn't bad. Well, I didn't take like a super long hit, you know what I mean? And because like, I feel like um, me trying to get this unclogged before the video, I feel like maybe some spit got down in there and I can hear that sizzling a little bit because of, um, you know, pressure and stuff. Anyone that smokes carts knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Do not judge me right now. Do not judge me. Everyone in the world that has a cart that was left out for a little while and then they find it for the purpose of making a YouTube video and trying mm -hmm. to clear it out by sucking on it knows exactly what the f I'm talking about. For 4.2 volts, that is like surprisingly smooth as shit. Also, there's weed down here. What the f I just noticed there's a little bit of weed down here. <laughs> Dry as shit, probably. But, like for 4.2, that's crazy. Now, I don't know like how much of that is, is, is the actual battery versus the cartridge because like, 4.2 4 volts anywhere is 4.2 volts, you know what I mean? Like, there's, it's not like the 4.2 volts on this battery is gonna be any different from 4.2 volts on a different battery, even though I guess some batteries can't go up that high according to Helio Supply, but it is very smooth. That just might be accredited to, to whatever cart this is though. Um, I don't know who made this, so I can't really give them their, their dues. I just, I just found this upstairs in my cart holder. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but um, other, otherwise I like this. I like this a lot. I like, I like the feel. It's just it's a little plastic, plastic heart battery, but I mean it does the job well. I feel like, you know what I mean. I feel like everyone has something similar to this, but if you don't and and you're looking for one like this, might be a really cool option. It's crazy because they sent me this car battery, and then immediately after that I got like. I have like three more, like three other companies where I'll like try our cart batteries as well. We have cart batteries too. It's, I got like two by Yocam. We might have to do like a Yocam like, sh like showdown video between the two cart batteries they sent me. And then we have another one that, that does carts and it does like something else too. So I, that's probably gonna be like way more expensive than something like this. You can probably get this like relatively cheap on Helio's website. Like it's a cool little cart battery. I like that I can see kind of like what's going on in there. The, the screen is nice. And I found out if you click it three times, you can clear your puff counter. You can choose whether or not you wanna clear your puff counter. And also it has a puff counter. It has a four digit puff counter. So you can get this bitch up to 9,999 puffs. And then you can pray to all your friends about how you are the cart master. Okay, so I should have read the instructions actually because Danny, Danny pestered me into reading the instructions. 
in case I missed anything, and I did. I did miss something. Something kind of cool, honestly, that I don't think I've seen on any other carts. If you click the button four times, you can enter this little screen, which gives you like a timer type thing. It goes up to 30 seconds and down to three seconds. And it's how long the device will allow you to take a hit for. So maybe when they were like telling me that like you'll never burn your, your coil again, it was because of that. Cause like that kind of makes sense. Like if you have a friend that likes to take like super long blinker hits, like you can limit him. <laughs> like if you share your cards with somebody and there was something like you have a friend that's always like, hey, let me hit your, hit your cart. And you know they're gonna turn up, they're, you're gonna turn up the volts and they're gonna hit that thing. They're gonna try to blinker it. You can set your like your little timer thing to like five seconds and be like, no, my shit, you're not. <laughs> and then you just tell them like, yeah, my thing only does five second hits. It's, it's kind of shitty, but you know, it's whatever. I like it because I never take long hits anyway. You can just tell him that and that way he'll never know. You know what I mean? Hopefully he just doesn't do a ton of back to back hits though. I have mine set to 10 seconds. It goes as low as three and as high as 30, but kind of a cool little feature that, that I liked and we had to come back down here and tell you about it. Oh shit. Now I don't know how I'm gonna transition back into what I was saying. I guess like this. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Patreon, I'll see you in a second for this little little joint. Um, I have like a half of this joint left. It's uh, not gonna lie, I'm running out of tree at the, at the moment. So it's like, it's like a little bit of tree and then like a ton of keef because I found this like jar of keef that we had. So it's, it's mo basically smoking like a keef J after this video. So if you guys wanna be involved in the keef video, join me on Patreon. I think it's as low as $3 a month, but I think we might be able to make a new tier now because I think they changed it where we can do $1 a month. So if you guys want to sign up for just a dollar a month, um, come come on over to patreon.com slash flippin' loud. I can't put links in the descriptions anymore. That's really fun with me. I can't pin comments anymore because that's really fun with me. So Patreon, I'll see you in a second. Smoke this and Talk a little shit about YouTube. Talk, well, talk shit on YouTube, I should say. Because. But, anyway, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little censored little video that I don't think we had to censor these hits at least because I don't think they care about cartridges. Because it's like technically a vape, right? Bing, bang, boom. That's all I got for you guys today. If you want... That that is it. That that is all. That we we're done. <laughs>